everyone. So today is a little bit different. Um, I will be talking through this video because there's some stuff I wanted to chit chat with you guys about. Um, just keep in mind, the reason why I don't do many videos like this is because I have three small kids. Um, and they're here, you know, school's out for the summer. School's out for the summer. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, they are six, about to be seven on the 4th of July. Yay. Um, four and three. So there's always going to be some sort of noise. Um, they are distracted right now. Um, they have snacks and movie, Frozen. <laughs> so... Hopefully, I'll be able to get through this video with a little bit of peace, but um, yeah, you'll hear children if that's an issue for you. Just don't, don't be ignorant and say something, oh my god, the kids, like you, you were warned. So if the kids are a problem, just click away or mute the video, whatever. Okay, anyway, so here in front of me, I have this color I just made. Um, I have this idea, um, I don't even know what, it was something I saw on Instagram that, that inspired this, uh, <clears throat> I saw something on Instagram, I don't even remember what it was, but it said something about Lisa Frank, and I was like, oh my goodness, I remember Lisa Frank from back in the day, if you're a 90s baby like me, you know, Lisa Frank was everything, everybody had all the, the, folders, the binders, the pens, the erasers, everything Lisa Frank. <clears throat> and I actually still have the lining to my fifth grade binder. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Hold on, just to show you guys. Um, this is the original lining I had on my binder in fifth grade. I'm 29 now, so that was like 19 years ago. It looks pretty good considering. It was just like the back flap. Um, I just kind of like pulled it out because I love this picture and wanted to keep it. And I actually had it like posted on my bedroom wall for a while. See, it was <laughs> with a little Velcro and I stuck it to my wall. Yeah, so this, that is this. And usually um, record my process you know of me uh just trying um trying to figure out what a mix is gonna look like or whatever but i figured i'd turn on the camera and see what happens whatever why not so i made this color because i didn't have this color at all in my um in my thousands <laughs> of different glitters i don't have like a corally color but coral i felt like was needed for this mix and look at this adorable spoon you guys and then cute. <laughs> so you guys actually voted on these um, I actually forgot but you guys voted between the um, this uh, spoon here and my cat one on which one you would like to see me add to my website and the uh, cute little resting mermaid see it just rests on the side of my bowl like this and that's so cute. Um, you guys voted for these. So I will be stocking these. But it will not be until... Oh, let's see. I got a bunch to do. Okay, it's gonna, more than likely, it's going to be in August. And the reason why is because I have so much going on now and in July. It's not even crazy. Some of you know that I, I've been doing uh, slime shows. And I've got... One in California in July, coming up, like two weeks, and then another one in Arizona um, in August. So, I'm just like, kind of all over the place. Hearts, yellow stars, flowers in it, because you know, Lisa Frank, that's why. Lisa Frank. I don't know what I'm doing where I'm going with this I, I have no idea yet I'm just kind of winging it looking around seeing what I've got mm, hold on hold on okay and I almost broke 
broke it. <laughs> okay, let's push that out of the way. Now let's see what's going on in this box right here. What do we have in here? I've got these hearts right here. Let me move that out the way and I'll show you guys. I got these. I freaking love these. These are so cute. Um, obviously, some of them are a little too big for nails. This one's too big for nails. But most of the sizes in here you can use for nails. I don't know. I might add the hearts. I don't know. <sighs> kind of wondering if I should add... Some of these flakes, y'all. Look at my pink unicorn skin flakes. I adore these so much. These are beautiful. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm looking at the um, Lisa Frank stuff. And I'm just having a hard time um, projecting it into glitter form i don't know but see this is literally what happens like i will sit there when i get an idea i will sit at this table for what seems to be ages trying to um execute it execute it just right um i do know what i want to add um i definitely wanted to add leopard the leopard spots they're in here somewhere man and I'm wondering if I should add pink hollow I'm not sure I'll set it aside just in case okay yes with the leopard print comes the woo with the leopard print yes because Lisa Frank, y'all know. I mean, if you know Lisa Frank, then y'all know. Had the animal print. Zebra print. Tiger print. Leopard print. You know. Just like on my binder here. See? The leopard spots or cheetah spots, whatever. Also got some of these I'm going to add in here. It's just like this little random mixture of stuff. I just think it's so cute because Lisa Frank was, is neons, all about the neons. That's why I loved Lisa Frank so much. There was just no method to the madness. It was just a little bit of everything and just throw it in there. That was it. There was no, I mean, at least I don't think there was a method to the madness. It didn't look like it, but I loved it growing up. I really did. I'm just kind of all over the place right now, you guys. I'm just looking about, did I say I'm gonna buy it? Uh, looking up, uh, oh God, I can't talk today. Looking around. Just seeing what I got. Seeing if I want to throw it in. I have some lips somewhere that I think would go cute in here. That's if I can even find them. I am the single most disorganized person I know. And it's, it's sad. <laughs> I'm so disorganized. But I really love Lisa Frank. You don't, you can't really go wrong. Like I can't go wrong with this mix because Lisa Frank is literally, it's green, it's blue, it's yellow, it's pink, it's orange, it's purple. It's just every color you could think of. I'm just trying to like come up with a general idea because right now I'm just throwing stuff in here. What about these? I don't know if these are these are Lisa Frankie, <laughs> Lisa Frankie, but check these out. Aren't those adorable? And look, they're really tiny. Well, not tiny, but you know, small enough to fit on nails. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll save that for a different. Video. I don't 
know. Let's just mix it from here. See what we got so far. <laughs> and I will decide what to do from here. I think I do want to add a little bit of hollow pink, though. Pink and purple. Maybe I should put a little bit of the hexes in here. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm coming up with ideas. Oh, not that. That's not pink enough. This one is. Here we go. This is pink, right? You know, it's pink to me. Looks pink to me. Pink? Is that pink? I'm sorry, my light, oh, my lighting is awful. Let me move that out the way. It's like, I know my lighting is bad. And my damn camera keeps jumping. Okay. Um. I don't think I wanna add that purple in there. I think that one's too, too dark. Hold on. I have another purple. Um, I don't know. Maybe? They kind of look alike, actually. These two colors look alike. A little bit. Well, I mean, that is dark. Dark purple on the picture that I'm looking at the part of my binder I showed you guys. It is kind of dark purple. Not really neon purple. But of course, I cannot find my hollow purple. That's so annoying. Oh my God. What's this? Mm, nope, I don't want that color. I really need to get organized. This is crazy. I got stuff everywhere. A little bit over here, a little bit over there. Like nothing is together. I really need to get my life in order. <laughs> really gotta get my life in order. I don't know, I'm not finding what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, what's in here? Ew, those are pretty. Uh, but no. Oh, look at this. Oh, I found <laughs> I found something with purple in it. That's cute. I like it a lot. Check this out. It's got silver hexes in there, but then it's, hold on. There we go. Then it's got the purple, different shades of purple in here. put it in there and do not put it in there that is the question I do not know yet I know that I'm missing some stuff and that's just because I moved a lot of stuff the other day and just <laughs> didn't move it back I've got these little tubes here purple Obviously, one's a dark metallic royal purple, and then this one obviously is the iridescent purple. I love adding iridescent to stuff. I really do. Maybe we'll just go with a little sprinkle of the iridescent. See, see where that takes us. See where it takes us today. I'm like kind of driving myself nuts right now trying to figure this one out. And to be honest with you, it's not. Uh oh, I am almost out of iridescent. I was just at the store looking at the big bottle and did not grab any. Shame on me. Okay. So what I am going to do is add a little sprinkle of ultra fine. No, 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 not this one. <laughs> not this one. Ultra fine um, holographic pink. Because 
Well, hello, holographic. <laughs> um, I just had it in my hands. I found it. It is actually rose gold, not really pink. So I'm just gonna do a little bit, just a little, 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 little bit. I'm wondering like how many people are already annoyed with me. Like, oh my God, girl, could you please stop at all the weird noises, you weirdo. Just a little, cause I don't want to mess up the color too much. And I'm gonna add more pink. See, sometimes like, a uh, color will lend its um, effect, you know, if you're not too heavy handed with it, which I have found. I love doing that. So it'll have like, a, it'll have just like a, a holographic shimmer to it without being all uh, dark, like that color kind of was, see? Obviously it's very, it's kind of hard to see because my lighting is terrible today. Terrible. It's terrible today. Very, very terrible. <laughs> I think I might need more um, leopard print in here. I kind of want that to stand out way more than it is. Oh my goodness, those are so cute. Those little penguins. I haven't even used the tiny little penguin shapes yet, but I need to figure out what to do with them i mean you guys can purchase them alone but i really want to do a mix with them it's what i usually do when i get like a specific uh specific shapes like these right here i use the leopard print these leopard prints here in jungle boogie and it's like a bronzy kind of color i kind of wanted it to look like um a leopard so yeah and that one's super pretty and it's a fine mix you know for my ladies who you know like their fine mixes jungle boogie is ultra fine and as you can see the leopard prints are teeny weeny so they would be good on your natural nails too i am so sorry about this light hold on i'm my light my table light died on me the other day and i was out the other day and i did not get a new one the other day because I am kind of slow sometimes. Is this one gonna work? I bet it won't. <laughs> I bet it won't do sh nothing. We'll just put it there and did it make a difference? I don't know. I can't really tell. I feel like it's not making a difference. I don't know if I should put my flash on right now so you guys can see better. You know, what? I'm going to stop. Pause. Put on the light on the, the flash thingy on and we'll see if that does better and we are back and I put on the light and it helped a little bit I guess you guys tell me if that light helped so I want to do more lives but like I said I don't do lives really just because i have my kids with me and they're always stopping me they're always knocking on the door banging on the door mommy i need this mommy i need that so you know i always have to they're they're young so that you don't have to keep constantly checking on them periodically so mommy duty calls always always um yeah so that's why i don't do many lives somebody asked me if i could do a live uh mixing video and i'd absolutely love to do it the last the first and the last <laughs> the first and last one that i did i let the viewers uh pick the name of the mix and um i chose which one i like the most and then i gave them some of this mix which, you know, is my name, that glitter game. Y'all know that when I get stuck, ooh, look at how sparkly. When I get stuck trying to name a mix, I will just ask y'all to do it. And then I'll send you some free glitter for your effort. <laughs> look at that, see? I just added a touch of that Ultra Fine Hollow and look at what it did. 
Look at what it did. Oh my god, it's so precious. It's so precious. Part of me wants to add iridescent, but iridescent, it kind of does its own thing. Like, no matter what color it is, it can be like this purple iridescent here or um, a regular white or clear iridescent like this one here. You see, it will always reflect green. See that? And here's another iridescent. See, green, green. And don't get me wrong, I love it, I love it, but just not all the time. Like, I don't want this one to start reflecting all greeny on me. So I think I'm just gonna leave it without any iridescent in it, at least not that stuff. This would be a good time to be live because I, I could ask you guys what you think if I should add a little bit of blue. I'm gonna do a live video sometime soon. Oh. I kind of want to add some blue. Maybe just a little bit. A boop. Oh, I added it. I only made a little bit. Well, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Add a little bit more blue. Just a sprinkle, sprinkle. Just a sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I want that damn purple. Where the hell is the purple? I can't find it. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's right here in my face. Are you serious? No. That was not there. The gnomes took it and then they put it back when I wasn't looking. Yes, the gnomes. <laughs> okay. Now you guys, check out this gorgeous. I am a sucker for hollow. Look at this. Don't you just want to eat it? I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. I just wanted a little sprinkle. Let's see. Because this mix has to be dynamic. It has to be out there. Because Lisa Franca. Lisa Franca. <laughs> Alright, let me show you. This spoon is a little small. So I'm going to use the big one here. Going to use the big one here. Okay. So I didn't realize my phone had stopped. So I added more of those pretty little um, hearts and stars and flowers and stuff. I love, I'm loving this right now. It's so cute. Let me see. Okay. I love this mix. I don't know, part of me though is trying, is trying to tell me to add more leopard print, but I think it might be a little too much black. So maybe I should just leave it as it is. I should just leave it alone, girl. Leave it alone. See, this is what happens when I talk in my videos. I burst into song randomly. Just a whole hot mess. I am, I am. Just a whole hot mess. Um, okay. I really like this mix. I'm trying to clear this up. Can we, can we focus here? Can we focus? So it's got a nice fine base. A really pretty shimmer as you can see. Old world. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's beautiful. A lot. I'm gonna add the rest of this though. I feel like I just it's telling me to add the rest. Add the rest. Add me, add me. So that's what I'm gonna do. See when I listen to the little voice in my head. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But I think in this case, yes, it works. All right, I like it, you guys. What do you guys think? And should I swatch it right now or? 
Should I swatch it now? You know what? Yeah, hold on. So I went and grabbed my stuff to swatch this with acrylic because you guys know that my medium of choice is acrylic. So I got my brush of the mix. Let me just dump some of it out right here. Oops. It's kind of much, but whatever. And I've got my, so I've got my um, acrylic liquid my clear acrylic powder. Both of them are Mia Secret. And I've got the glitter on this little plastic baggie here. And I got my little swatchy stick. Swatchy stick. Okay. So I'm just going to prep the brush. And if you're looking down in here and say, eh, it's dirty, like it's just glitter. I mean, what else would be in my bowl? but a ton of glitter i just did this set i actually did this hand first and i was like i don't know i feel like it's missing a little something this is looking glass this was named by my girl tanya the nail diva hey girl um and i was just so in love with that i put it on but there was just i don't know something missing so i went and i put some blue on this hand my hands almost never match to be perfectly honest with you But if you've been around long enough, you know that. Okay. That is prepped gead. Wet bead to pick up the glitter and smack it on the swatch stick. But keep your brush clean. I why can't I just talk normal? I don't know. Don't you judge me. This is just who I am. Y'all let me know if you like videos like this. <laughs> or if you would just prefer me to like not talk. Because I'm annoying. But if you think I'm annoying, then just go away. <laughs> or just mute it. I don't know. This is the finished look, and I love this. The light is not really doing it justice. It doesn't look as bright and vibrant as it does in person, um, but it's so beautiful. I wish you guys could see, but it looks good. I really love it. All righty then. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is the Glitter Queen speaking. Yes, yes. Um, let me know what you guys think about these kinds of videos and me chit-chatting and running off at the mouth. I don't know if you guys like that or if you just want me to shut up and put the music on. I don't know. Um, but if enough of you like this video, then I will start doing more videos like this. And I will try to do a live really soon. So go follow me on Instagram and Join me again here in Candyland and I will hit you guys up again in the next one. Later.